to note the smoke coming out of the middle cylinder. I pulled out the spark plugs and I see smoke coming in through there. That could be a good or bad sign. Uh, it looks like a bad sign. I have to do a compression test on these cylinders to make sure they're good. I, it may be that the middle cylinder might have blown and that's why I'm getting a lot of, uh, you know, oil smoke through there. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's the oil I put in there that's burning. But it's kind of unusual because the middle hole, this one's the only one that does have the smoke. The other two don't. So I'm going to have to do a compression test to make sure that the cylinder is good. That's why I can't maintain an idle. If the cylinder is bad, my engine's going to die before it gets to the idle. So I'm going to have to get the uh, compression gauge and do a, a cylinder compression check. I'm actually going to do a compression test on the cylinders. For that, you need a compression gauge, which I have here. I hooked it up to cylinder number one. You pull out the spark plugs and hook it up to cylinder number one. And the next thing I have to do is tie something onto the uh, throttle here. The throttle is what gives the gas. You have to tie it off. You have to make sure the carburetors are completely open. So I got to the throttle is what increases speed and decreases speed. So for the maximum speed, I have to push this in, which means the carburetor valves are open fully. For the compression test to work right, you have to make sure that this is open fully. So I'm going to have to tie this up um, over here. I'm going to do that and show it to you next. Note that I used a clamp here. There's a clamp here holding the throttle in the full open position. And this, you can only do this for a snowmobile, not for any other vehicle, because the snowmobile uh, speed is operated with your thumb, with your right thumb, you push it back and forth. So this has to be fully open, and I used a clamp to clamp it right to the handlebar. And that's the first step in doing the compression test. You need to do this, and then hook up the compression gauge to the first cylinder. Test for cylinder number one. You have to keep pulling this until um, it actually stops rising. So right now it's at 90 PSI which is the cylinder compression for this first cylinder. So I'm going to release the pressure and hook this up to the next cylinder right now. So I'm going to release the pressure. And then I'm going to hook it up to cylinder two. Now this is the cylinder I said might have some issues. Let's see what the reading on this one is once I get this tightened down. If it is bad, I will need an engine rebuild to bring this engine back to normal, which will be expensive. This is cylinder number two test. I'm going to give it one more pull. Looks like cylinder two is uh, slightly higher. Amazing. So it looks like my engine might be good, even though I saw smoke uh, coming out of it. Now I'm going to have to disconnect this. I'm going to release the pressure on this one and disconnect it and put it on cylinder three. Well, this one also has to come close to 90. You want the cylinders to actually show close to each other in pressures. Now I'm going to pull this one too. And you have to do this till the, till the cylinder stops rising.
after it gets to the maximum, pull it a few more times. It's a little over 90 it looks like. So that's good. All three cylinders are around 90 PSI. It should be between a 90 and a 100. So I think this, this engine is still good to go. This is good news. I'm gonna remove the little clamp on the throttle. If you don't do this, you won't get the right uh, compression readings. You always have to open up the throttle. Uh, if you have a carburetor, you gotta keep it fully open to get the right reading. If you have a fuel injected snowmobile, I don't think it's as important. But if you have a carbureted snowmobile, make sure your throttle is moved to the maximum open position and clamped in this position when you take the test. If you don't do that, you're not gonna get the right results. <laughs>